Hi, my name is Chris Delaney and I'm the product owner for Law Enforcement Solutions at Esri. In this video, we will be learning how to use the Summarize Incident Count tool and the Summarize Percent Change tool in the Crime Analysis Solution for ArcGIS Pro to count crime and understand change over time across police precincts. Law Enforcement Command staff use these analyses to gain a comparative picture of crime across their jurisdiction and are frequently used as a starting point in crime reduction and accountability processes like CompStat. Let's take a look. Okay, so here we are in ArcGIS Pro. We have the Crime Analysis ribbon open, and we have a map, uh, and the map contains a layer called Q2 Violent Crimes, so this is violent crimes for the second quarter, and a polygon layer called Police Precincts. We're going to go into the ribbon and open up the analysis tools, and we're going to select the Summarize Incident Count tool. And what this tool is going to help us to do is to be able to create a graduated color map showing uh, the counts of violent crimes for the second quarter per police precinct uh, symbolized according to a graduated color scheme. So to do that, we're going to select uh, the Q2 violent crimes layer as our input, excuse me, our police precincts layer as our input features. Uh, the layer that we want to summarize is our Q2 violent crimes layer. So the points layer goes there. And then we have an optional group field and what the group field allows you to do is to, in addition to create a total summary count for all violent crimes occurring inside the precinct, um, by selecting the field containing your crime um, categories, in this case it's UCR description, I can create a unique field that counts each unique crime type. So a separate count for homicide, rape, robbery, and aggravated assault. So that's what I've done here. And then I'm going to run the tool. And here's the output of the tool. We have an output layer, and we have five classes of uh, colors from yellow to red based on the number of crimes occurring in that location, in that precinct. I can click on the symbology, and I can see that the default classification scheme here is natural breaks. If you wanted to change that to equal interval or quantile, depending upon your preference, uh, you certainly can do that. In addition, if you wanted to be able to label the number of crimes occurring in each of these precincts, I can do that by having the layer selected in the contents pane, clicking the labeling ribbon, and then uh, selecting a field. And so I can select the total count field. I could expand this and uh, press the expression tool and that will enable me to write something like total crimes q2 so i'm adding some text in addition to my um, dynamic value and now i have a label that says total violent crimes q2 colon space actually I forgot to add the space and then the dynamic value that's coming from the total count field in the uh, in the layer itself I'm just going to turn those off to simplify and then the last thing that I want to show uh, in the attribute table of this output you not only get a total count field scroll over so each of these uh, features in the layer represents one of the precincts and for each precinct we get the total count value and we also get a unique value for each individual crime type uh, aggravated assault rape and robbery because we didn't have any homicides this quarter uh, and that was because we used that group field. So that can be a really handy tool for analysts who need to be able to create those unique counts for each individual type of crime, or maybe you want to do it by year or some other kind of uh, categoric value that you have in your data. So that is how you create a graduated color map by, of counts of crime by precinct. Now we're going to take a look at how you create a percent change map by precinct. So now I've added a second layer to our map 
Q1 violent crimes, and I want to be able to compare the second quarter of violent crimes to the first quarter of violent crimes by precinct to understand which precincts have gotten worse or gotten better um, in the second quarter compared to the first quarter. So to do that, I'm going to use the summarize percent change tool in the crime analysis ribbon. Uh, and here is the tool uh, interface. Uh, my input features is again, my police precincts. That's the uh, geographic boundary area that I want to use. My current period is my quarter two violent crimes. My previous period is the Q1 violent crimes. And I'll just use the default name for my output feature class. And then I will run the tool. Okay, and so now I've gotten an output from that tool. And as you can see, it has uh, five main, six main classes. Each of them represents a uh, increment value um, between uh, less than 5%, uh, less th uh, above 5%, above 10%, uh, less than 10%. Uh, in a blue to red color classification, so it's very easily identifiable which precincts have gotten uh, better and which precincts have gotten worse in terms of violent crime in the second quarter. Again, I've got the ability to add in some labeling here if I like, so I can see uh, the percent change values. I could choose to add in a uh, percentage mark if I wanted to to make that a little clearer. So when I do that, you'll notice that I do have some trailing digits on one of these values. Um, I'm using currently arcade for this expression, so I could write a, I could use the round expression or the, the round function to round it to one value. And then when I press apply, one decimal point, now I have that, and then I could even do something like text formatting dot new line plus current count from plus previous count. So what I've done here is just write a simple expression that first rounds the uh, percent value to one decimal and then adds in a percentage mark and then uses the text formatting new line to create a line break and then uh, uses the current count field from the output layer to show the current count, the current period count, and then plus and then uh, from in, in quotation marks is, a, is text and then the previous count value. And then when I apply that, I get a nice little formatted label that makes it really easy to understand the differences here between the two different data sets. So now I can take a look at the attribute table to see what's under the hood for this output layer. And I can see that I have for each individual precinct area, I get a current count value. So that is the count of the Q2 violent crimes a previous count value, a net difference, and then a percent change value. Uh, so you can utilize that uh, data to be able to prepare for a variety of different crime types, percent change maps by your individual precincts. So this has been a short video helping you understand how to map crime counts and percent change using the crime analysis solution, specifically the summarize incident count tool and the summarize percent change tool to support uh, law enforcement organizational uses for this kind of analysis and data, uh, typically as part of a crime reduction or accountability process like CompStat. Thanks for watching this video and hope to see you on another one of our crime analysis video series. Mm -hmm.